Hello everybody, it's Zach here from realestatelicensewizard.com. Today we're going over another one of our real estate math practice questions. If you're new here, we post exam questions on this channel, either submitted by users or from our large bank of questions every Monday through Friday. Of course, if you have any math questions you want me to cover, you can drop them down below. If you want to try these real estate math questions out yourself, as well as regular real estate exam questions, go ahead and check out our website, realestatelicensewizard.com. Now this series is amazing for anyone preparing for their real estate exam. So make sure to click that like button and subscribe that way you're fully prepared come exam day. Anyways, let's jump right into it. So today we're going to be talking about commission. We're going to be talking about basic commission problem with a little bit of a twist. So let's take a look at the question. All right. So it says, assuming there are no extra fees and the broker is representing the buyer and the seller, what was the final sales price of a property if the commission rate was 6% and the broker received $24,000? And it's going to go ahead and give us four options, A, $1,440, B, $14,400, C, $144,000, and D, $400,000. So as always, I'm going to go ahead and give you guys an opportunity to pause here, do the math, figure out the answer. So go ahead and do that right now. All right, so hopefully you guys came up with your answer on this one. So it, as I mentioned before, is a basic commission problem, but with a little bit of a twist. So the formula for finding commission, as you guys should know, is pretty simple. You just times whatever percentage you have by the total price of the house. Obviously, in this case, it's going to be different because they gave us the rate and what the broker received. So we have to adjust the steps slightly. So in this problem, in order to find that total sales price, what you're going to do is take that $24,000, go ahead and underline that now, uh, you're going to take that and you're actually going to divide it by that 6% or the 0 0.06. Now, obviously, you'll have a calculator on the exam, as I mentioned in the other videos, but you'll plug it in. And what are you going to get here? You're going to get that $400,000, which is, in fact, our answer. That's right. It is our answer. Um, and I know a couple of you guys are probably sitting there wondering, well, hold on a second. Um, doesn't the seller's agent or the seller's broker and the buyer's broker or the buyer's agent, don't they both split that? Well, in Traditional cases, yeah, um, but actually in this question, it's featuring a dual agency. And you'll notice this here. It says the broker is representing the buyer and the seller, which means they get both portions of that commission. Does that make sense? Hopefully you guys picked up on that as you're reading through the question, um, because again, that's going to change things drastically when you're doing these commission problems on who is getting what. Um, but, you know, for these basic questions, they keep it pretty simple. And that's why it says here, assuming there are no extra fees. And again, it says the brokers representing both the buyer and the seller. Um, now, alternatively, you can actually take these answers. So A, B, C, and D, and you could multiply each by 0 0.06. And basically what you would be getting is the broker's commission. Um, so I can show you guys that real fast. So if you just take this $400,000, you multiply that by 0 0.06, that's actually going to give you that $24,000. So that's a neat little trick for you guys to double check your answer if you guys have some additional time or if you're just not sure of your answer so that you're 100% sure uh, that you got it correctly. But yeah, that's going to be pretty much it for this one. Again, it's a basic commission problem with a little bit of a twist. Um, obviously, the steps are a little bit different in this problem. But yeah, that's going to be pretty much it for this video. So hopefully you guys learned something. If you have any comments, questions, all that good stuff, leave them down below. We're going to be talking about commission a little bit more this week, and then we're going to dive into some other stuff as well. So stay tuned for that. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching. As always, this is Zach from realestatelicensewizard.com. Make today magical. Until next time.